hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so today i have another pr package that i'm going to be testing out and i know some of you may be tired of these product reviews but i said in one of my videos like a while ago that i had a lot of pr packages and they just been sitting in my closet so i just wanted to go ahead and just film all of the videos using them just to get them out the way so this video is going to be on the bella vina mini gel tip kit and this is available for purchasing on the double dip website i will make sure to leave everything down below um i really do love the packaging it's super cute here's the bag feel free to pause and read if you would like but it does says it includes a 15 ml nail glue gel and 500 nail tips a uv led light with a usb cord and a free gift so i'm super excited to see what the free gift is but before i unbox the mini gel tip kit i do want to show you guys these melavina soak off lacquer sets that they told me to pick out three colors and these are the three colors that i chose the colors i chose are super pretty and i will swatch them for you guys because they were too pretty not to so i do want to take these out of the packaging just to show you guys a closer look so it does come with two one of the bottles are see-through which is the regular nail polish which doesn't need to be cured and then the other on the left side is the gel polish which needs to be cured in a uv led light so here is how both of them look this is the regular nail polish and this glitter is just super gorgeous and then here is the gel polish So here are the three colors cured for 30 seconds. These colors are just so, so gorgeous. This is only one coat for all of the gel polishes. And like I said, I will leave everything down below just in case you guys are interested in checking it out. But now let's get into the mini gel tip kit. Um, so I'm just gonna unbox it. I'm gonna pull out everything first and then I'll just show you guys later. So as always, the first thing it includes is the user manual. It just has some instructions, um, some facts, tips and tricks, everything like that, how to remove. Of course, it also displays their social media, so please make sure to follow them. Check out their website. And then next we have some rhinestones. I do believe this is the free gift that was mentioned on the box because it doesn't say anything about the kit including rhinestones. So that was a super nice gift to add to this kit. You can never get too many rhinestones. So here is the UV LED lamp. It is a really small lamp, but it's super convenient for applying the nail tips using the oppress method with poly gel, Femi Beauty method, anything like that because it do have like the little space where you don't have to struggle to cure onto your nails. Of course it has the USB cable, you will have to provide your own wall piece for it, but here's the overall look of it, it's super cute, I love the little logo on the top. Here is the power button where you press it on and off, and then we have three little lights at the top. And then flipping it around to the back, here is where you would plug in your USB cord, and this is a 16 wattage lamp. So I have seen people use this kit already, so I kind of already knew what was inside. This is one of the things I was most um, excited about, which is the 4-in-1 base coat, because you can use this for so many things. And I was looking at the bottle and I realized it didn't specifically say what were the four things that you can use it for. So I looked back through the instructions, I was looking on the box, I didn't see anything, but I'm guessing it's going to be like a base coat. Um, like an adhesive to like apply your rhinestones or like nail art stuff like that like a blooming gel maybe a top coat i'm not sure if you can use this as a top coat because it did have somewhat of a tacky layer and for me i just like to cure and go without having to wipe that away and plus a lot of times when you wipe away the tacky layer it takes away the shine so i really love my nails to be really really shiny so now moving on to the nail tips, I'm just going to show you an overall view. This is the size 5. Um, I'm just going to show like a close up of the nail, the length, 
And speaking of the length, I did know these nails weren't going to be as long as I would like to, which is why they this kit stayed in my closet a really long time. Because honestly, I just wasn't really excited to use this kit just because of the nails. Like, I really like my nails long and I've, I just figured if I did these nails using these specific tips, like, it wouldn't do good on YouTube. But here I am just finally getting this video out the way. I really do, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So I laid out all of the nail tips and as you can see they go from a number size 0 all the way to 9. So there are 10 sizes. Um, I am going to pick out all of the nail tips. I'll get more into that in a few seconds. But on my, on my hand I do have the previous set on which I did in my last video. If you haven't seen it make sure to check it out. It will be linked above in the cards. I didn't want to take this set off because I loved it so much like I had these on for about four or five days and I did film me um, taking these nails off using the proper way because using the oil it was a little bit harder to take off so I did have to soak them off eventually and I did record a video on that let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that but I did go ahead and pick out all of my nail sizes and I'm just showing you guys how they fit on my nail so the thumb was perfectly fit like it was such a perfect fit the um, index finger was like a little bit square for my cuticle area as well as the middle finger there and my ring finger it fit a little better but I still had to do a little bit of filing just to customize it around my cuticle area and this pinky nail this is the smallest size which is a 9 and this was entirely too big for my nails so I will have to go in and file to make this nail a little bit shorter so if you do get this kit keep in mind if you if your pinky nail is about the size of mine so you won't have a nail to fit your pinky nail but like I'm doing here you can always just go in with a hand file and just customize it to fit your nail bed just make sure that you keep checking so that you don't file too much I did the same thing to the other nails that needed to be filed off camera so it wouldn't take too long. So like I said, I did go ahead and remove my nails. Here are my natural nails. I've already applied my peel off base coat. And now I'm just going to go in with the 4-in-1 base coat from the Bella Vina Nail Tip Kit. And I'm just going to be doing a thin layer over all of the nails. And then I'm going to give them a 30 second cure in my light. This 4 one base coat has a really nice consistency. I really, really loved it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and plug in my UV light. And here's how you turn it on. I really love the fact that it actually turns off because my Beatles lamp that I got in one of my tip kits from the Beatles, you can't really turn it off. So I have to just let it like finish out or I have to unplug it. So that's really nice that the power button actually works. So now I'm just going to be applying these nail tips using the press do method. This has become a really really popular method. A lot of people apply their nails like this. You can apply them with base coat gel, a top coat if you would like to. You can use um, poly gel, builder gel, rubber base gels, anything like that just as long as it's cured and it adheres. So basically you just want to put some of the base coat gel inside the nail tip making sure that it is enough to cover your entire nail. And so you want to start at the cuticle area. I did have like a little black speck in the nail, but I don't plan on keeping these on. So I wasn't really too worried about removing it. But once you put the base coat gel inside the nail, like I said, you want to start at the cuticle and just flow all of the product down to the tip of the nail. Make sure your light is ready. Just flash cure in the light. And then once you have all of the nails on, you want to make sure to give it another 30 to 60 second cure just to make sure that these are fully adhered. And I did do all of my nails except my ring finger because I'm going to be encapsulating some butterflies. So 
so moving back to the ring finger these are the butterfly sequin glitter mixes that i'm going to be using and these are from the Macar mary posa decor set i will have these linked down below but since i have the blue like almost like a teal greenish blue and a pink shell polish i did think that these butterflies would go so perfect so i did want the butterflies to be on top with the hint of glitter so i decided to do the design underneath the nail so i'm going in with that 401 base coat and i'm just going to be placing some of these butterflies onto the nail to my liking and then i'm going to cure that in place and then go over this with the glitter gel polish and then also curing that once again and then i'll be applying it to my nails how i did the other nails using the 401 base coat So just to further explain why I did the design inside the nail tip, it's, okay so I wanted the butterflies to be on top of the glitter. If I just applied this using the oppressed method, I could have just put the glitter gel polish on top of the nail and then went on top of that with the butterflies. But with the butterflies, they aren't like stickers, like they have like a little like thickness to them not that much thickness but it does have like a little thickness to them and so i didn't want the nail to feel texture on top so it just made sense to just do the butterflies first so that so that they could appear like on top of the glitter and then chase the butterflies with the glitter i really hope i'm making sense but it just made sense to do it underneath the nail so that i didn't have that textureness to these top surface of the nail so now I do have to go in with a little file. Actually, this part isn't that necessary. I just wanted to do a little bit of shapings to the sidewall. And then of course, I'm gonna get the free edge to remove that piece of plastic and just sharpen up my shape. And then also, once I finish that over all of the nails, I'm gonna take my nail drill from Melanie Susie and I'm just gonna go around the cuticle area to flatten that area out, give it more of a natural look to it, and just clean up any of that spilled product. And then after repeating that to all of the nails, I'm going to take my buffer to remove the shine from all of the nail tips. Okay, so let's finally get into the design. So here are my nails. I did want to do some French tips, so I just picked out this color and applied two layers of it, curing for 30 seconds in between each layer. And this is a rubber base in a nude shade from Madame Glam. And it does have somewhat of a tacky layer, so I'm going to be removing that with some 91% ice purple alcohol, and then I'll be getting into my design. So now I'm just going to be taking those two beautiful colors, which is that pink and that blue, and I'm just going to be placing some onto my nail palette so that I have an easier access to do my French tips. And taking one of my favorite brushes, this is the Nails by Dale Fresh. I'm just going to be starting by creating some French tips on the pinky nail. So I started my line like a little bit above where you can see my natural nail through this rubber base gel because I didn't want my natural nails to show. So I just marked where I wanted to like meet in the middle and then I just do the two lines to connect them and then I fill in the rest of the tip. And it's pretty simple. This technique of doing French tips has really worked for me. Yeah, so it's not really that complicated. It's very simple. I'm just gonna be repeating that. I'm gonna be doing the pink on the pinky and my index nail and I'm going to be doing the blue color on the middle finger and the thumb but before I let you guys enjoy the rest of the video I did want to say I really really love this kit the only thing I don't really like is the length of the nail tips and that's literally the only thing that I don't like I love the lamp the 4-in-1 base gel it works really good I love the thick consistency I just think these really short nails like this look really weird on my hand and honestly it's just a personal preference so if you don't mind these nail tips this would be a perfect starter kit for you like I said I will link everything down below I was so close to using different nail tips for this 
um, video and design, but I was just like, I would just go ahead and use the tips so that whoever is interested in this kit can actually see how they work and apply. Other than the nail tips, I can honestly see myself using everything else in future videos, just not the nail tips because like I said, I really did love this kit. So yeah, I'm just going to let you guys enjoy watching the rest of the video. I'm just going to be continuing um, doing some French tips on my nails. So here's how the nails are looking. I went ahead and did two coats off camera. Um, the middle nail looked a little bit thick because the blue polish was a little bit streaky when I applied it. So I did have to go over it with more coats to make it look a little bit more opaque. But now I'm going to be taking the white gel liner from one of the um, Christmas collection gel liner sets. And I'm going to be outlining my French tips. This is a really gorgeous gel liner set. So I will make sure to link this down below as well. Um, I do have a coat for double dip. I'm not sure if it applies for Bella Vina as well. But just in case, I will leave my double dip discount code down below for you guys. And I'm going to be removing just about most of the product from my brush. And I was really concentrating on this part. Like this is literally the straightest line that I have ever did in my entire life. Like it was just so perfect. And to create this really, really small line, I just wiped away all of the excess gel polish from the brush. And I just made sure to use a really, really light hand. I just went really slow, just taking my time. And I'm just going to be doing the same thing for all of the other nails. So once I was done with the French tip nails, I'm going to move on to my ring finger and I'm just going to be doing some four pointed stars. So I just start by creating my dots and then switch it over to the brush. Once again, removing all of the excess gel polish just so that I can create these really small detail lines. I'm just going to be pulling the gel polish from the dots to create the four point stars. And then after this, I'm going to go in with a few more dots just to fill in some extra space. So this is how the finished set was gonna look but I felt like it was a little too plain and keep in mind I don't really like these nail tips on my hand so I'd rather just go above and beyond with this nail set. So I pulled out the butterfly stickers from the Mariposa decor kit and I'm just gonna be picking out some of the butterflies that match with that gel polish color and I'm just gonna be putting a butterfly on each of the French tip nails. Adding these butterflies really helped pull this design together. This is how it's looking so far, but we're gonna go a step further and use the rhinestones that was provided in the Mini Lux Bella Vina kit. So here's a closer look of the rhinestones. They have a really nice reflective shine to them. 
super super pretty and to apply these i'm just going to be taking the um 41 base coat like i said i don't know if you can use this as a top coat but i tested it out as a top coat um most likely i won't be using this again as a top coat just because it had a tacky layer and it, the nails weren't as shiny as i would like to but I just applied that to the entire nail and I'm going to be doing a little simple um, rhinestone bling at the cuticle area. I really love this placement of the rhinestones at the cuticle. It's very simple but it looks so elegant like I really love this design. The placement for the rhinestones. So I'm just going to be repeating that to all of the other nails. For the ring finger, of course we couldn't leave this nail out, even though I did put some dots to like fill in the extra spaces, I wanted to go in with some rhinestones, so I'm just picking out the really really tiny ones and I'm just going to be placing about 3 or 4 like randomly throughout the nails, but mostly focusing on the empty spaces. Once I get this placement how I like, I'm going to flash cure, and I'm also going to top coat the underside and then give these nails a full 30 to 60 second cure. And guys, after adding the cuticle oil, this is how the nail set turned out. I really, really love this design. I actually think this design is really, really cute. It just looks very weird because of the nail tips. Like, I just think these short nail tips like this look really weird on my hand, especially this angle. Like, I don't know. I'm just not feeling the nail tips. But everything else, I really, really enjoyed. I really love that mini lamp, the 4-1 base coat. Um, the colors that I chose, everything is just so pretty. I will leave everything down below. Comment down below what you guys thought of this nail set if you like these nail tips. And yeah, I just want to thank you guys for watching so, so much. Like I said, comment down below what you guys thought of this nail set. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.